What a go on my people, welcome back. Today I'm making some hard boiled food with mushrooms and butter beans. So let's get straight to it. So first I'm going to put on a pot of water to boil. To this I'm going to add some salt. When I'm making the dough, I will not add any salt. And I've been doing this for a few years now. Usually I would add salt but not anymore. But if you want to add a pinch of salt, go right ahead. Alright? I'm making some banana dumplings. And let me tell you, these banana dumplings were so good. A long time you know eat banana dumplings. So to make the banana dumplings, I'm using three fingers of banana. Once you peel the banana and if there's any excess skin, you can just use a knife to scrape it off. Once you're done, just add this straight to the flour. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm not adding any salt to this. The salt I add to the pot is good enough for me, but if you want to add a pinch of salt, go right ahead. I'm using some unbleached all-purpose flour, but if you want to use whole wheat, spilt, or buckwheat, or any other flour of your choice, go right ahead. So once you're done, your dough should look something like this. So what I'm going to do next is to break a small piece of the dough, roll it in both palms of my hand, and then use the side part of my thumb. Or you can just use your thumb to just press the center and go around it to form like a decent, a disc shape. For those who are not familiar, alright? This is a simple technique. Once you're done, your pot should come to a boil. Just go ahead and add the dumplings. And make sure to give this a stir because you don't want the dumplings sticking to the bottom of the pot. Don't cover the pot all the way and this is just to prevent it from boiling over. I'm also going to cook a piece of yam and two sweet potato. Now this is the white sweet potato, also called the boniato. So what you want to do is to just peel your ground provisions. Make sure that you wash them before and after you peel them. So I place the yam in some water and this is just to minimize oxidation. So once you're done, just add the yam and sweet potato to your pot 
Dumplings are cooked when they flow to the top. The yam and sweet potato and most other ground provisions are cooked when they are easily pierced. While the food cook, I'm going to prepare the mushrooms. So here I have two 8 ounce Bella mushrooms. To clean these, I'm going to use baking soda and water. You see all that debris? It's very important for you to clean your mushrooms. I know some advise not to wet mushrooms, but for me, I will clean them the best way I know. You don't necessarily have to sort the mushrooms. What you can do is to go through each of them and remove the dirt. Once you're done, give these a good rinse and pat them dry with a paper towel or cloth and then cut them up. Once done, just set them to the side. I'm going to cut up some fresh seasoning. So here I have scallions, scotch bonnet pepper, thyme, onion, garlic, bell peppers. And here I have the butter beans. I'm using the Caribbean Rhythm brand, but you can use any other brand. Now I'm going to lightly season this with some old base seasoning. You can use any other all-purpose seasoning of your choice. Once you're done, just go ahead and add the mushrooms. What I'm going to do is to allow the mushrooms to sweat down a bit before I add any additional seasoning. So I drain the liquid from the butter beans and lightly rinse them off. Now that the mushrooms have sweat down, I'm going to add some Old Bay seasoning followed by the butter beans, bell peppers and some more chopped scallion.
at this point make sure that you season to your liking i'm going to cover the pot and allow this to simmer down for about five minutes It's about that time, food cook, and I was ready to eat. Listen, man, this tastes amazing. Simplicity at its best. That's it lovely people, a simple meal that you can have for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you give this recipe a try and until next time, bless upon yourself.